right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything is going great. Um, today in my tarot certification group, we are going to be talking about those pesky court cards, kings, queens, knights, and pages. Are they other people? Are they me? If you want to learn tarot from me and you want to get certified, there's a link below. All right, let's see where we go. This month in the tarot certification, we're going to be doing a lot of one-to-ones. I'm going to have one-to-one -one meetings with you guys uh, so you can uh, read and uh, we can talk about it. All right, so that'll be fun. I hope you are a part of that because that's going to be like, I feel like the best part. <laughs> One to one, right? I feel like the best part. All right. Underneath is Eagle Spirit Freedom. That came out last week. I saw that quite a bit. Wow. Phoenix Transmutation also came out quite a bit. Bird energy here. And the Spirit Guardian of Spring Activation. And we've got a swan down here. As you know, swans mate for life. Um, there's something here about flying alone or being alone. Some of you have been alone for... Um, a long time and maybe feel a little resigned to that. Like, when is this, when it, when am I going to be able to um, have my twin flame in my life? Or when am I going to have a soulmate in my life or something like that? A lot of you have been in this journey of um, singletons and, and here's the thing, like you need space when you're going through a spiritual ascension, you need space. It has nothing to do with you not being able to have love in your life or anything like that. It just is rearranging a lot in how you experience the planet and in the middle of that um, spiritual awakening, for some of you, it may have been um, part of your path to be on your own for a while, okay? Not everybody is like that, but there are quite a few of you who have written to me about that and why is it... Why do I, you know, why are friends leaving my life and why are old, you know, people that I have in my life for a long time suddenly leaving? There's a lot of people um, choosing paths right now and I, I'm feeling it and I'm seeing it and it's sort of like, okay, you know, if that's what you want to do, then that's okay and I'm going to stay on my ascension path. I'm going to stay doing what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Seven of pentacles underneath, seven of swords. All right. So there's a lot of sevens recently too. the um, judgment card and the nine of pentacles. So what I'm getting here is that anything it's like no longer can you deal with have truths or lies or um, people who are not authentic. It's a real problem. OK, and I feel like uh, that's one of the reasons why some people just drop out of your life because they're not they're not living life in the same vibration. This is not a this is not a value judgment on anybody. Everybody makes their own choices. And, you know, I'm seeing you here as be, as someone who has chosen a path um, of spirituality and also of how to integrate my 3D life with my 5D life, how to, you know, use this this uh, channel I've been given, use this body, the intuition, the body, mind, spirit connection, all of these things are finally coming into alignment. There's a sense of like things are falling into place a little bit. And there have been some people who've taken up a lot of space in your life that um, are choosing and choose and no judgment. I hate to sound like this, but there's the judgment card right there about like choosing a path that is not aligned with yours. Let's just, let's just call it that, right? It's just not aligned with me. It's aligned with your mission. It's aligned with what you're here on the planet to do. And, um, some of you may be opening up to your path in a bigger way. Um, some of you may be opening up to healing energy and, you know, you're one of those people who can really transmute energy and really knows how to release things. Uh, I generally feel that the healers on the planet are the ones that, you know, it's almost like a tree taking in um, carbon dioxide and um, putting out oxygen, right? Like able to transmute it and bring about something healthier be, uh, from the energy that was here. And so there, it's a lot of like filters, right? A lot of a lot of people on their spiritual path are real filters, filters for um, toxicity. And so we do get 
a blast of that. We do get people lashing out at us. We do get people not understanding us. We do get people kind of, um, you know, uh, trying to take advantage or whatever like that because the spiritual energy is pretty pure. So just know that um, it is a it is about not about ego at all. This is about like this is what holding space means is that you're taking in this kind of um, toxicity, but you're not letting it touch you. You're not letting it stay. You're transmuting that energy and releasing it. And, you know, only from a place of, of process, it doesn't mean that you're like a hundred percent healed. I'm all set. I'm all, it just means that you're in that process yourself. And so you might be, you might be attracting people who are um, quite toxic uh, or have been quite toxic. They show up in your life and you, you know, go about doing what you're doing. And some of you are releasing those people because it is, it is hard to be around. And, and other times we have friends or um, connections that just kind of walk away from us. And that's fine too. Ace of wands, ace of pentacles, three of pentacles. Wow. Look at this. Ace of cups, the queen of cups, page of swords. Look at that beauty. Wow. Six of swords, two of swords, and the queen of wands. It's all internal. I like this a lot because the feminine, divine feminine energy is the one that's transmuting um, the toxicity. Okay. And right now, anyway, and ace of wands, ace of pentacles, ace of cups. What we're missing is the ace of swords, but I am seeing the page of swords and the two of swords. So it's almost like that's already arrived. Like the authenticity has, is already here. So um, that's what the Ace of Swords is, is true authenticity. And now I feel like the other three Aces are kind of catching up. Ace of Pentacles, planting the seeds for a physical future, a financial future that is stable. Lots of spiritual people are learning how to use their resources, okay, and not to push them off because of some misguided, um, I don't know, kind of puritanical belief that people aren't allowed to earn money or people aren't allowed to um, have abundance in their life. And, you know, I, I feel like it's, it's a balance. It's sort of like the resources are here to get us stable in this world so that we can do our work. Like you can't do it if you're, if you're constantly worried about paying your mortgage, right? It needs the, the um, that energy needs to be here. So some of you are planting the seeds for a better financial future we are talking about that in the spiritual business class later this month. If you want to join, there is a link below, which is, you know, I can't wait for that to start going on because there's a lot of new information uh, that we have learned over the past year that I would love to impart on you if you're interested. Um, the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups. Some of you have been uh, really healing a broken heart, and that has been uh, kind of a stepping stone to this next level of your spiritual journey. I do feel because you have done that, it's like the messages can now flow, right? If you have a broken heart, you are uh, cut off, right? Those feel Your feelings are cut off and that isn't informing your authenticity. It isn't connected to third eye or the crown anymore. When it's hurt, it's sort of like blocked off. And so there is a sense of that. I see this two of swords here. Um, but it's almost transmuted for me too. It's sort of like, listen, I'm not taking in, um, it's possible that you might be done with a certain type of healing work that you have attracted a lot of, uh, toxic people. And so you've done, been there, done that. Right. And now you're moving on to a different kind of healing work. So some of us are storytellers, uh, and that has a, that has an effect all of its own, like connecting the dots. Right. I feel like that's my job is to, um, lay out messages and help you connect your own dots. That's definitely one of my functions. There's no question about it. And new messages are coming in that are going to be fiery and passionate, maybe new ideas coming in. I love the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords together. That's definitely new ideas. The Page of Swords here. Ah, King of Swords, Three of Swords. Mm, interesting. Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands. So part of, and this is, I believe, um, a mission, um, mission oriented is that you are, I feel like you could be dealing, re, um, next 
with one person who is very challenging. Okay. Um, I feel like that's what this is about because this is a spring. Obviously this is the spirit guardian of spring activation, that queen of wands, ace of wands, very nice activating energy. The eagle spirit is freedom. It's about, uh, it's not owl, it's eagle. So it is about soaring high above. And the transmutation is scorpionic energy of, of um, changing one thing into another. So I do feel like there might be some messages coming through for you from someone, either a Sag, a Sag or an Aquarius. Um, and this person is someone who either broke your heart or who is very brokenhearted. And that's one of, that's, it's almost like you're turning your attention from a way of doing your work to a new way because of um, a, a catalyst, a person who's a catalyst coming in and it may come in in the energy of love. There is something, it's possible. I did a twin flame reading um, yesterday. If you wanna, I'll put a link right here if you're interested in that. And the six of swords here, we are moving towards something, something new. Okay, so maybe this is about activating a different part of your mission and it's a catalyst that's doing that I, I do feel like it's a love partner uh someone who's a soulmate uh someone who might be um there might be more than one person here there might be somebody who's older who's very cold very difficult to deal with um very someone who lashes out who is very um i don't know not really interested in spiritual journey topics or anything like that. You got to be, this is a person you kind of tiptoe around. You got to be careful about what you say. There's somebody who is very, very tied to an old paradigm. And it's almost like by telling them or speaking your truth about uh, what's going on with you right now, you're really triggering them because it makes them feel like they're wrong. And this person can't be wrong. Okay. That like destroys their whole worldview. If they, everything I believed in, how I built my life is wrong. Then they're very triggered by that. Um, and that's that three of swords there. This knight of wands is, is it's possible that this person, if you're triggering them, does run away, um, uh, does run away or does, um, kind of, uh, disappear, right? You're like, where are you? Where are you? Where in the world? Where's Waldo? Um, and I almost feel that there might be somebody, uh, for some of you, there, this is a catalyst person and you are going on this journey with them, okay? You're moving uh, along in this journey. The Two of Swords here is very curious. It's like you're finally finally listening to internal, you know, your your guides, your connection to your guides, not, look, not listening to external sources. Seven, oh, I, okay. Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the four of cups and the five of wands. Okay. So it's possible that you have not been, this is just for some of you that you are not listening to external sources like this, like this person who's so triggered, like you can really see it. Um, and I do think you have a lot to learn from this person because this is the type of person that you're going to be dealing with in terms of your healing gifts. It's not going to be somebody who's already on the path, who, you know, kind of knows what they're doing. You're really getting an education from people who are very resistant, very um, tied to old paradigms. It's like, you know, the degree of difficulty as it relates to your spiritual journey is about to ramp up. Um, and I do feel like you're getting a lot of resistance. Seven of Wands, Four of Cups and Five of Wands is a lot of resistance to your teachings uh, the page of pentacles here. And I do think you're learning from this. You could be learning from how, um, how to, instead of either, uh, this is a terrible word to use proselytizing instead of like, kind of, you know, communicating, right. That's why the ace of swords is not here. It's not about that. It's much more about, um, embodying the beliefs you have and living by them rather than talking about them. There's something here of an experiential nature when you're dealing with this new person that you're going to have to be an example, setting an example. So this, it, it's shifting you, bringing about some new, um, new healing capabilities, 
new teaching capabilities, new um, connections to spirit, something like that is really going to open up. And it's because you can't do what you normally do with this person. This person is lashing out. So you're like, all right, I have to, um, I have to work uh, in a different way. And that's what they're teaching you. It's kind of nice. And I almost feel like this person initially, you aren't, um, they're a catalyst in nature and you might be kind of like resistant to them because they're lashing out so much. But I feel like this person could be um, a long-term love partner. You know how they, it's like in the, in the romantic movies that like, oh, we don't like each other. We hate each other. We don't, blah, blah, blah. and like, oh yeah, you're the love of my life. Okay, so there's something like that. There's something like that going on here. Hanged man, seeing people in a different way. Knight of swords, 10 of wands, death. Okay, that's the transformation. Wow, death, devil, 10 of pentacles. Oh my word. Okay, this is getting bigger. All right, so this, the story is getting bigger here. And I feel like um, this person is showing you, it's like they're bringing to the forefront all these um, ways of, shining your light in the world that are going to be helpful that you may have not known up until now. And you're learning a lot from this person. You're learning a lot about very toxic energy. You're learning a lot about um, uh, codependency, addiction, whatever it is. Now, I'm not saying for all of you that this person is going to be the love of your life. What I am saying is there is something very special about this person because they are a catalyst very important catalyst. And I do feel like that brings you to the next level of your journey, the next, the next um, thing you're here to do. And I always kind of wonder to myself, I'm like, okay, so what's the, what's the possibilities uh, with this, with a, a situation that's right in front of me? What are the possibilities? And I feel like your job here is, I know this is kind of a small card given all of this up here, death, devil, 10 of pentacles, the, the temperance card, 10 of wands. Um, hmm. Um, there's a tremendous opportunity to learn from this person or to learn from this experience. It's not, it's not necessarily pleasant. It's kind of like a, uh, baptism of fire and you're going to, um, be aware of new gifts opening up because this person either triggers you um, or they're being so triggered by what you're doing or just your presence. You don't even have to say anything. Your presence is triggering to this person. Big time catalyst. Okay. So we'll see where this goes and how you might, uh, work with this. <laughs> okay. I also, I, I am feeling less and less like this is a person who's like, uh, the love of your life. What I am feeling is that this person opens up the door for you to love in a deeper way. Okay. All right. Link is below. If you want to continue on pathfinders, uh, let's just keep going. All right. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.